Okay, so now I'm going to do my second pass I got in post day, and that was from Lunette. So I just went ahead and like took off my sticker with my address on it. But this is what they sent me because I contacted Lunette and I said I run a channel um, on YouTube and um, could they, would they consider sending me a sample for you to see so I could also answer any of your questions about them. And they said, uh, yeah, sure, they're going to send me one because they don't have many people over in the UK that, um, to dis that distribute their products. So they sent me one. And I was not expecting this, like this whole parcel. So I'm just going to show you what's in it. Um, so obviously the cup came. I got the clear cup. Came in this. Model 1. With a little green bag. And I was so excited by this. I've already opened it and tested it on a dry run. I'll explain that in a bit. But it came like this. And I love this little bag. With the bag. Oh, this does not show it at all, this, this camera. This is really nice green. With its little set of instructions and the actual cup itself, should it ever want to come out here, the clear one. Now, I was really shocked by this because I asked them to send me a sample cup, so I thought, I know Lynette do a sample cup where they have a hole in the middle, but this one came perfectly working, like there's no massive hole. So I can actually use this cup, which I'm really excited about. Um, and really surprised about as well, because it's just, it's really good. So this isn't a very, um, soft cup, but it's not a very resistant cup either. I'd say it's a really good, um, medium. It did have a little, little bit of problem getting it to open when I inserted it, uh, but I'll explain it in a bit. Um, they have these three different languages in their things. One is English, instructions to use, and the other two are having a pretty... A uh, fun time trying to work out. I think one of them is finished because it says it's made in Finland, so that's just a wog. I'm just guessing that's going to be one. And I think this one is German. If you speak German or if you know what this language is, please tell me. I do not know what it is. Um. So yeah, that's what came in there. But then there's a whole lot of stuff, <laughs> lot of stuff in here. So they sent me a lovely card from. I'm really not going to do your name any justice. I'm sorry, Elijah. Elijah. I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I cannot pronounce names at all. But they sent me a lovely card saying if I have any questions or anything, then please do that. Uh, Aisha. Aisha, I think. But yeah, so that's what they sent me. And a ton of other stuff. So some leaflets also to give out with Luna. And they just have like the diagrams of how to use it and then some pictures and some other Lunette's products. Yeah, so thanks so much Lunette. I was not expecting all this. I'm definitely gonna try and do this justice. Uh, so that was part of it. Then we got, their, this is their actual instruction manual that they give you. Ooh, but it didn't come in the packet, it came like this. Yeah, just instructions to use, how, what Lunette is, you know, toxic shock syndrome, how it hasn't, it gives you the, um, the symptoms of toxic shock syndrome, actually, and why mental cups don't have that, or there's no reported case of it, I should say. And then they sent me this little frequently asked questions book, so if you have any questions, obviously ask me. I had the little book that they want. Um, I will link the next, um details down below, so you can go and look at them. I know they're a popular brand with a lot of people. Um, they also sent me all these stickers. Tons and tons of stick. I love stickers, by the way. So thanks so much for that. Um, I need I need to find some way to get these out and do them justice because this is just this is amazing what they've sent me. Um, so yeah, it's a really cute one here. Set. It's got blood, sweat, and tears, Luna, and it's got them crossed out. It just says blood and Luna when you do that. I think it's really cute. Cool. And then this was just brilliant. They sent me this bag. Isn't that just awesome? It says, get some silicone. I'm reading it from this side. Whoa, let's try it out. Lunette, ooh. Lunette is a menstrual cup made of soft, medical grade silicone that doesn't change our natural moisture levels or dry us out. And is unlike, and unlike towels, it never feels sweaty, even on hot days. Lunette. So, <laughs> thanks so much, Lunette. That is absolutely amazing what you've done for me. I'm super thrilled. I just can't believe it. So now I'm just going to talk a little bit about the actual cup. Um, sorry about that. So that's all they sent me, and I was shocked by this. So the Lunette cup looks like this. This is a model one. Bushy. I actually have my classic firmness Maluna here. Let me see if I can drag this out. That's not a soft one. Oh. oh, well, I've got... This is the classic firmness in the mini. So you can just see 
They're not, it's a little bit softer, but it's not very much. It's not like the soft. Here's the soft Melina. You can see that one just caves really quickly. But you do cave it a little bit, so it's a lot stronger than that. Um, so I use, yes, water-based lubricant when I insert my cups. I got a free sachet from Feminine Wear. Thanks, Feminine Wear. Well, thanks, Teresa. Um, it says Made in Finland on it. I don't think you can see that. No, you can kind of see it's shiny, though. That's what it says. It's holes. This is something I really like about this cup. The holes are very close to the rim, which means you get maximum capacity out of this cup. Uh, it has some really good grit rings here. I like cups with really good grit rings because that's what I actually do. I insert my fingers and I grab the cup rather than the stem. Um, however, I did grab the stem because it's really stretchy. It's really easy to pull. But I inserted it using the seven fold. I did try the punch down fold. But I have to say, when I tried this, I thought that just looks huge and kind of daunting. So um, I did the seven fold. And I put lubricant all along. I put lubricant along the rim here. And I also put it along the rest of the rim and this bit of the cup. So I just smothered the whole top of the cup. I didn't worry about the underneath. The underneath, because there's nothing um, sensitive below your vagina. On top of your vagina, you've got your urethral tract. And that's sometimes what hurts you're inserting your cup. So um, if you just uh, lubricate the top of the cup, that should be the best bit. You can hold that. Once you've just got the rim inserted, you can actually let go of the cup. Because as soon as the rim's inside, you don't have to worry about this cup. And this cup is um, not the strongest resistance cup I felt, but it's quite strong too. Once it's open, you should be able to push it up pretty easily. Um, I didn't have any problems, I just kind of manoeuvred it into place, because sometimes it's at an odd angle. I pushed it up, I get it about into here. For me, I will need to cut the stem, because I like my cup to sit very low uh, down in me, so I will cut probably about that much off. So be about that much stem left. So, if you need to match the cups, this is how it works. You if you're using a punch down fold, this is, just the, this is the C fold, the most common, I think, like that. You insert it into your vagina, it pops open, and if I just turn that around, you can see that's what it does, and then your vagina walls kind of hug it. And the reason why menstrual cups, you can't feel them inside of you, is because they're made of silicone and stuff, they adapt to your body temperature, but also they can move and form to any shape inside of you, which is why you can't feel them. Uh, if you've inserted it correctly, that's what you feel like. I like the stem because it's really flexible. Squishy cup. It's a good cup. And I'm thrilled because, obviously, I thought it was just going to be a sample cup with a hole in it. And it was just, I just opened it and I was ecstatic. Um, it has two measuring lines with uh, no measurements on it. One there and there. I think, I don't quite remember this, but I'm pretty sure it holds 20 millilitres of fluid. Let's compare it to... Yeah, it definitely holds more than this, and this holds 15 millilitres. I'd say it holds about 20 um, millilitres. So, yeah, if you have any questions about the Lunette, the Lunette Cup, sorry, the Lunette Cup, um, Model 1, or I don't have the Model 2, but I know it's, I think it's the same length this way, just got a longer cup. Uh, they do recommend, actually, they have a very good little instruction leaf here for which size you should choose. And it says that if you're a virgin... Whether you have a light or heavy flow, like me, you need um, the size 1. If you're a teenager who has had sexual intercourse, then I think you need either you need a 1 for light flow, or you could have a 1 or a 2 for heavier flow. Um, then they've got a really good like, little list here. Yeah. So, as I said, I've got this. Um, I can answer any questions you have. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And thanks again, Lynette for sending me all this stuff. Bye-bye.